Good morning. We'll let everybody work toward their seats and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do a brief introduction and we'll, get, we'll go ahead and move on to the meal. Uh, unfortunately, um, Rashad was not able to make it today, uh, neither was Randy Hippard. So we have one very special guest this morning, uh, but we will honor her. And I appreciate everybody coming out on this snowy morning. Uh, first, I also want to thank ARM Software for sponsoring this event. Uh, they're sponsoring several of our events on campus. Uh, they've been a great supporter of our, ours in the short relationship we've had with them. Um, again, I just want to really welcome everybody to the 2014 in Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Uh, we've been joking this morning that it's been jinxed, but we're going to move forward. Uh, this was originally scheduled for February, and I know most of you were invited at that point as well. Um, we were unable to have it then because of snow, but we're able to move forward this morning. So uh, I, I think uh, the chancellor might be to blame for the snow. She seems to be really encouraging the snow, and the kids are, probably did a snow dance again. Uh, again, I just want to uh, real quickly uh, uh, thank you guys for coming. We really appreciate everybody coming out, and we're really happy to honor Kendall Rainey, uh, who is a great student athlete here and is a great representative of us now as the associate athletic director, really doing, doing all the work right now uh, in, the, in the athletic department. We really appreciate her for doing that. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and release them for lunch, and we'll go ahead and let, we'll let, we'll let Kendall get started, and then we'll just kind of work our way around from there. All right? Thank you all. Okay, there we go. Need to move it up a little bit. We're going to get started with the next step, uh, but I do want to apologize. I forgot to do something in my initial welcome, so if you'll uh, indulge me for just a second. Uh, Southwest Virginia lost a great man this week. Um, I was fortunate enough to get to know him, uh, know him well, personally and professionally, so I would like for us to take a brief moment of silence for Coach Wayne Leffage. Thank you. Big Daddy would have appreciated that. Uh, now I'll turn it over to our Chancellor, uh, Donna Henry, with her welcoming remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm pleased to be here, and I know Danny blamed my daughters for the snow, but I think it's actually my parents they decided that this was going to be the weekend they'd come up and visit from Florida. And um, as you can imagine, living in Florida, they're not big fans of cold weather. And so it was supposed to be a beautiful weekend. So <clears throat> that was in their mind. So then when they looked, began to look and saw it was going to snow this weekend, my mom was like, no, it can't snow. So hopefully they'll be at the game later on today. It's been hard trying to convince them that they can actually go out in the snow. But, um, but, but we'll see how that goes. So. Um, Anyway, and um, I think my dad may have stolen my glasses, so I'm wearing a pair of cheaters, so if it looks, I look strange. I'm not used to wearing these um, as I read, but I can't see anything without them, so. Anyway, um, <laughs> so since this event um, has been held every two years, um, it's actually my first opportunity to join you as we induct uh, a new member to our Hall of Fame. And I'm especially pleased to welcome so many alumni, donors, and friends. Uh, and for those of you who haven't been here for a while, if you do get a chance to drive around campus, um, we've got our new library going up. Um, if you haven't been into the Winston Ely Health and Wellness Center, I do recommend that you take a, the opportunity to go over and check that out. The equipment is absolutely um, is phenomenal. So. Um, I've been here, it'll be two years in January, which is just phenomenal to me. The time has, has flown by since I've been here at the college, and we've been able to do a lot of things in that time, and one of the main things was to, that we accomplished was to complete the strategic plan. So Envisioning 2020 is now in place, and we're measuring our metrics and how well we're doing. And Envisioning 2020, we really are focused on the college. We're focused on our academic programs, we're focused on our students, and we're focused on our connection to the region of Southwest Virginia. It's an exciting time for us, and um, the resources that we're bringing in to support all of that has been phenomenal. Um, the other piece of Envisioning 2020, which is really uh, applicable to today, is our transition to Division II athletics. 
And that has been a seamless transition. We're in year three. Uh, we're projecting, knock on wood, that everything will go well. We've had our on-site visits from the NCAA D2 team, and they have been extremely complimentary of our athletics staff, of all of our coaches, of our teams, and how well we're doing. And uh, they would really like to place us out there as a model for a D2 school. And so I think that we, we should be very proud of that. Um, the effort of uh, Vice Chancellor Sim Ewing, our Athletic Director Danny Sterling, our two Associate Directors Kendall Rainey and Tom Nyman, our FAR Tom Costa, coaches, faculty, and students all deserve a round of applause for the hard work that they've done. Um, I believe that NCAA uh, membership will be a tremendous benefit to our students and to the college for many years to come in ways that at this point we may not even recognize. Uh, as I look at our athletics programs, our student athletes comprise over 12% of the student body. There are approximately 250 student athletes who participate uh, each year. We have six men's sports and seven women's sports. And we've recently added women's lacrosse, uh, which will begin intercollegiate play this spring. So, and I'm happy to see our lacrosse uh, coaches here today. Uh, our student athletes follow what we call the Cavalier Way. And the Cavalier Way includes components for competitive success, for personal growth, including communication, accountability, vision, altruism, leadership, integrity, encouragement, and respect. And we work diligently to model and instill these qualities individually and in all of our events, as well as in the operation of our athletic program. Uh, in addition to uh, the things that we're doing in NCAA D2, um, we've made some improvements to our athletic facilities, uh, facilities. Uh, most recently the renovations to Greer Gymnasium have been a big component that have added to upgraded locker rooms uh, for our student athletes, and that has really come from the generosity of our donors. Um, our donors also, over the past year, have stepped up. Uh, we have a $10 million goal for an endowment for athletics, and you'll see this fall announced in the, the College Magazine that we are $6.3 million toward that endowment for athletics. So the donors who have really stepped up to support our initiatives here are phenomenal. And I would like to thank them as well. So. so our many advancements wouldn't be possible without the strong foundation built by the exemplary services and athletic prowess of those who came before us. And that's why we're here today. We're so proud to honor some very special people people who have made enormous contributions to this college, and in their time here, they've excelled in athletics. In just a few minutes, we will induct one new, special, talented, former UVA Wise athletic standout into the UVA Wise Athletic Hall of Fame. Uh, and her name will be placed on the Athletic Hall of Fame display, which is now located on the concourse of the Pryor Center. So it's just upstairs toward the front doors. But we've, before we move on with our program, I'd like to recognize our past honorees who are with us today. With the Athletic Hall of Fame inductees from previous years, please stand and be recognized. We have Kim Mathis Moore. Zach Moore. Dick Davidson. Preston Mitchell, Wayne Edwards, and Bill Ramsire. I'm pleased to share the lectern today with Bruce Wassum, former football coach, who will begin our Hall of Fame induction. Bruce? Thank you, Dr. Henry. 
I, I need to warn you before I get started, um, the two people who didn't show up are the ones that had to listen to me the most while they were on campus, so, so be prepared to, to go to sleep, perhaps, I don't know. Um, I'm really honored and, and privileged to, to get to introduce Kendall today. Um, she kind of tricked me into this. She called me into the office and said, I've got a favor to ask. Would you mind introducing Randy and Rashad? And then she said, oh, by the way, would you introduce me too? So, so I, I really got an extra privilege by, by doing this. Um, it's, it's the perfect job, really. You get, to, you get to introduce people whom all of you know and remember so well for their outstanding exploits on the field. Um, the greater honor was really getting to, to see and watch Kendall um, during her career here at WISE and after graduation when she came back to, to rejoin us. Uh, so the whole thing has been a, a very, very great privilege for me. I was first introduced to Kendall in the admissions office in 2001, I was over there working on some football recruiting, and Coach Leftwich, who, who Danny just mentioned, said, I want you to meet somebody. Kendall and her father were there because they had brought her teammate over to visit the campus and, and hopefully play softball for Coach Leftwich. And he said to me, Kendall's a great student and a great athlete. I'd really like to get both of them. And to tell you what a great job Rusty and, and uh, Wayne must have done in recruiting, even after she and her dad met me, she still came. So, so, <clears throat> so they did a, a super job. Um, once here, Kendall's remarkable qualities of intelligence leadership, sensitivity to and consideration of others, and commitment to excellence quickly came to the fore. Her quiet, hard work showed on the volleyball court and on the softball diamond. In softball, Kendall was a four-time All-Appalachian Athletic Conference selection, three times All-Region 12 honoree, and the 2005 Region 12 Player of the Year. She holds our school record with 157 runs scored, is second with 87 stolen bases, and third with a career batting average of 358. In volleyball, she led her senior team to an AAC co-championship and a regional tournament berth. She won both the all AAC and region 12 accolades and holds the school's all-time assist record with 3,000 431 assists. In addition, she was twice named a National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics Academic All-American, was a two-time National Strength and Conditioning Association All-American, and won the AAC, the Appalachian Athletic Conference Champion of Character Award, and was elected a member of the college's Darden Honor Society graduating summa cum laude. After graduation, Kendall earned a master's and a PhD at the University of Tennessee. Having served as the captain of both, her sports, both of her sports her senior year, she returned here in 2009 to lead the Lady Cavs volleyball program as head coach, helping the program transition to the new Mid-South Conference and from playing in the cramped Greer Gym to this beautiful Pryor Center where we're having the, the uh, celebration today. After three years, she moved to the role of Associate Athletic Director, overseeing academics and student athletic success and senior as a senior woman administrator. In this role, she has now helped the athletic department transition to NCAA Division II and into the new Mountain East Conference. A Hall of Famer for volleyball, softball, coaching, administration, you'd think she was ready to retire. Thank goodness we hope we have her around here for many years to come, helping guide our athletes and athletic programs. Let me close this with a quote from one of her former teammates here. 
It's hard to fully explain in a couple of sentences the impact Kendall Rainey had on me as a teammate during my time at UVA WISE and the impact she continues to have on me as an educator and coach. Kendall Rainey exemplifies exactly what a Hall of Fame inductee should be. She was a hardworking teammate on the volleyball court, a hardworking student in the classroom, and is continuing her hard work as a leader in the UVA WISE athletic department. Her success is no surprise as she embodies a wonderful example of a teammate, leader, and role model. She has always gone above and beyond expectations. On the volleyball court, who would have thought a 5-1 player could block a six-foot hitter? But Kendall was always one to achieve more than anyone expected. Kendall was the glue that held her team together. She was a role model for the underclassmen both on and off the court. Her success in collegiate athletics was a small stepping stone to her current role as assistant athletic director. It was an honor to be her teammate during my time at UVA WISE, but is even more of an honor to be considered her friend. I cannot think of anyone more deserving of this accolade than Kendall Rainey. And that is Kara Hamilton No, who is currently the head softball coach at Gate City High School. And I don't think anything could sum up Kendall any better than what Kara said. So I present for her induction into the Hall of Fame, Dr. Kendall Rainey. Thank you, Coach Wassum, and thank all of you. Uh, you know, the last time, like we said, it snowed. The last time we had this planned, I got to play dizzy bat over there at a basketball game, and someone actually forgot to tell the softball player that she was supposed to let me win. But uh, I think it showed. Uh, I think it showed that I've lost a step, maybe. But anyway, um, I'm honored to be chosen as a member of the Athletic Hall of Fame here at UVA Wise, and want to ex extend thanks to the Ca Highland Cavalier Club. Uh, for the recognition. I appreciate the nomination and consideration of the committee. I specifically owe thanks to my coaches, uh, Wayne Leftwich for recruiting me to UVA Wise, Kim Mathis Moore for teaching me volleyball, how to be a setter, and what it actually meant to be a Cavalier, and Tori Raby for pushing me and our 2005 softball team to be our best and essentially guiding me toward a career in college athletics. With all the progress and growth surrounding UVA Wise Athletics that Chancellor Henry and Coach Wasson mentioned, um, I don't often have the chance to reflect back, but as I do, you won't be surprised to hear that the thing about UVA Wise that impacted me the most is the people, uh, certainly all of you guys in this room right now. Uh, I was sold on coming here after I met Rusty and Coach Wasson in admissions, despite what he thinks. Um, and I wasn't even the primary perspective student athlete that day, as he mentioned, but they made, they made this place feel special. Um, and my parents were a bit shocked, I think, when we got home and, and I said that, but um, we had plans for, I think they'd already paid some money even to go somewhere else, but that's beside the point. Um, I have many memories of specific games and events, uh, but the most memorable moments are times with my teammates. Things like the miniature box of Special K that my softball roommate once gave me as a gift and the numerous uh, volleyball secret pal gifts such as the growth chart that was strategically placed by my locker, um, you know, helped me, helped me realize my place every day. But uh, they, they will always mean as much to me as this trophy does. Uh, I'm proud of the accomplishments and development of both the volleyball and the softball programs while I was part of the team and since. Uh, I hardly realized a lot of these statistics until Daryl uh, notified me when records were broken. Uh, but the reality is that in my roles, it would have been impossible to even have stats without others. Uh, without people like Carrie Sparks and K Kelly Burke and Kara Hamilton uh, to make perfect passes and hitters like Jessica Kane and Tasha Byers for kills, assists don't happen. Without the bats of people like Heather Gentry and Shelley Newton, I would have specifically let, or, 
significantly less softball runs scored. Uh, I appreciate most the opportunity of played, to have played with so many great people and friends, and I'm proud of the continued growth of these programs. I especially want to thank my parents, who never forced me to play any sports, who didn't direct me on where to attend college or what to major in, which could be why it took me 12 years to attend a graduation, but for always providing me guidance and never the answer. They've been avid team supporters throughout my entire career as an athlete, a GA, a coach, and an administrator. They attended nearly every game for both my sister and I, and I'm extremely proud that they're able to be here today. I think my dad thought that, or I always was certain that throwing uh, fly balls in the backyard was the top of his priority list. So I, by all means, appreciate and am appreciative for their constant support. Similarly, I want to thank my sister, Rustin, uh, for being my biggest fan here at UVA Wise. Uh, as a student that graduated, she was an overachiever, graduated in three years um, right after me, but she was always at every game. Uh, I'm sure she hates that she's unable to be here in beautiful Wise today from sunny South Carolina. And I want to thank all of you all uh, who make UVA Wise such a special place. Um, I was fortunate to have my UVA Wise experience. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap up with a few housekeeping issues. Uh, for everyone who is here today, your name badge is your ticket into the football game, and kickoff is at 2 p.m. And uh, at halftime, uh, the inductees into the Hall of Fame. Uh, so Kendall, will, we will join you at the 50-yard line uh, to go out and be recognized at the game. And the Alumni Association and the Office of Development are hosting a hospitality suite in the Chancellor's Box today, so everyone here is invited to drop in throughout the game. So please be sure to come in and, uh, and stay out of the weather maybe even a little bit. That would be great. Uh, please remember to wear your name tags for admission to the game and the hospitality suite. And remember everyone that the campus bookstore at the Carl Smith Stadium will be open in case you need some Highland Cavalier finery for the game. Thanks everyone for coming out today. Congratulations to Kendall uh, as a Hall of Fame inductee. And I guess all that's left to say is go Cavs. <laughs>